Hi everyone, my name is Frances with IDA TV. Today we are here with Janice Davis at WonderCon 2013, and she has just written a book called The Holder's Dominion. Janice, tell us about your book. Hi Frances, I am so excited about this book because I wanted to bring my two circles together, non-gamers and gamers. All of my life, I was the horse girl. I rode dressage, stadium, equestrian, jumping, but in college, all my roommates were gamers. And so I said, you know what? I got to figure out what it is about video games that people love so much. So in 2002, I started playing Final Fantasy XI. And I played that for five years, loved it. Then I played World of Warcraft, I've gotten to Assassin's Creed. And I said, you know what? There are people like me who didn't grow up playing video games, but need to know what it is about video games that's so alluring. So I wrote The Holder's Dominion, let me grab it. And it's for anyone that knows someone that plays a video game or that's a gamer themselves. So that way we can show the allure and the excitement about video games and how collaborative it is and the, and the teamwork that people have, right? Uh -huh. I mean, rating is all about taking care of your team. And now when people read this book, they get to see what it's like to be the healer, to be the tank, you know, to be a DPSer without actually having to play. So grandparents can read it and go, oh, I get why my grandkids play. Or parents can read it and go, okay, now I can bond with my son. And even wives have told me, hey, my relationship is better because I've read your book and I get why my husband games. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to be at WonderCon to really share this positive message about gaming. Okay, so you are a writer. How Was that really scary trying to get into that world? I know it's very competitive and to say, I want to be a writer is just, it's hard to do. It was. You know, it is really intimidating to go for your passion and for your dream, especially when you're just starting out and you just have an idea and the paper is blank. But all I can say is, you know what? If you have a message to share, like the movie Robots, if you see a need, fill it and just go for it. Write your full manuscript, write your draft, and start hiring editors. It was intimidating for me, but after three years, it's here, so dreams come true. It's, it's definitely worth it. And you're a female, and you're gorgeous, so how has that affected your career thus far, especially because you're in the video game industry? You know what, it's really interesting because a lot of females have told me, you know what, this is great that you're here promoting female gaming and showing that we're all gamers in a way. You know, it doesn't matter, male, female, young, older, in a, in a way, whether it's a mobile game or an RPG, MMO, I mean, we're all gamers in some way. Okay, so say I don't know anything at all about video games or books, what would you tell me to kind of entice me, to hook me to get into this industry, into your story? Oh, absolutely. I would say that because story is what it's about, right? We're all enticed by story. Reading things that are thrillers, action adventure. The thing is, is with story, that's what video games are about, right? That That's what will pull you in, is when we know, we can feel, we can relate to the characters. So I would say, even if you've never played a video game, you can pick up the book, you can follow it along, because the main heroine, she's a non-gamer, she's never touched a video game. But she learns, so you learn as you learn. She, you learn as she learns. <laughs> so, it's, it's, a, it's a blast. Okay, and what has been your favorite experience thus far, just in this industry, as a writer, following your dreams? I would say the thing that I have loved the most is meeting and connecting with so many amazing people and seeing them connect together with their friends and their loved ones. I think that's the most amazing thing is meeting the people and hearing their story and how books like The Holder's Dominion or their favorite books have changed their lives and, and either brought them closer together with their friends or even their family or even mended relationships, Francis. Oh my gosh. So I think that is my favorite part is just meeting these kindred spirits that really open their heart and like show me how their lives have been changed. It just, okay, I don't want to tear up, but it really, it really makes me just in awe of the power of story.